Um, yeah, I guess I I came to a a point where, well, I mean, I, t- to be to be perfectly honest, I was looking to stay in Europe. Um, that was my goal, um, and it got to a situation where the options that were put in front of me were not really what I was looking for, and I still have ambitions to to do well to to get back in the Socceroos and all that kind of stuff. And so I saw this next step in my career as an important one because obviously I figured it would lead me into the to the next World Cup. Um, and then uh, I was got in contact, or Ante got in contact with me, and uh, yeah, obviously seeing the success that Adelaide has had over the last few years, um, and also producing players that have that have done well, especially in my position, and have kicked on to do bigger and better things. Um, that was a big influence, and and you know I I've, I've got some friends here that I spoke to. Terry was one of them, Elridge, um, and he spoke really highly of the club and and the coach, and and obviously the the philosophy of the coach and 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 that kind of thing. Um, so all of those factors kind of were a big influence in me making the decision decision to come back here. Well, I guess that depends on the coach. Um, I, I did have a chat to him prior to making the decision because that was an important thing for me as well. Um, obviously, the last five years I have played that predominantly the, the, the number six role. Um, so I do feel more comfortable in that role at the moment. But in saying that, um, you know, I'm flexible um, and also, you know, it's about seeing what, what the best fit for the team is. So, you know, we have to find that balance, I guess. And, and I, firstly, I have to train with the boys and, and, and sort of see, see where I can fit in. I mean, I don't see it as a step down. Um, me being in Europe, me wanting to stay in Europe at the at the beginning of the transfer window was purely just my own ambitions and that's what I, the goals I had set myself in my head. Um, but obviously seeing the A-League and, and what it's done over the last, since I've been here obviously, and also the, seeing the players kick on from the A-League, obviously it's, it's hard to say that it's a, that it's a step down um, because it, it is producing players and it is, um, you know, the football, the level has um, advanced since, since I've been here. Um, well, I want to win. Obviously, I want to succeed. Um, I think any player steps out on the field wanting to wanting to win with, with their team. So that's that's my goal here. I, I definitely would like success with the team. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully, I can just improve as a footballer as well. Like I said, I spoke to Tarek about the, the the environment and the coaches and and that kind of thing. And it seems like an environment that, that can push me every day and and make me become a better footballer. So hopefully, I can improve along the way and and help the team and and then we can succeed like they did last year. Uh, I've been training hard, so my base, my, my level is good, but obviously I, I need a bit of the football um, side of things. So hopefully that comes quick. Um, obviously I haven't really, yeah, I mean, I, I also don't have that guide, to be honest. So once I get on the paddock with the boys, I'll, I'll feel my way through it and, and, and work with the coaches and hopefully be fit uh, yeah. very soon. I think, um, I think it's definitely grown. It's, uh, I think, um, on the field, obviously, the quality's gotten a little bit better, but also I think the club's are much more stable and, and in a much more healthy... Um, I mean, what I was just talking earlier about the training facilities here. Obviously, Adelaide have got their own training facilities now, something like that. I don't think any club had that back when I was, when I was playing here. Melbourne City have that now as well. So I think um, a lot of things, I think the, the clubs are, are slowly bringing in everything together.